Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction and first of all guys if you're new to this channel remember to subscribe smash that like button and remember to share because sharing Ivorian Spice has always been caring and of course I'd like to thank you guys for watching the show always remember you can always contribute to this channel if if you click the link description paypal in the link description and also catch me on the live on the catch up on a monday and send your super chat but let's get straight into it guys because it's manchester united 2 brighton and hobian nil yes manchester united have shot on the seagulls manchester united collecting three points in the bag yes manchester united back into the top four after a tough grueling game against brighton which i cannot believe it i cannot believe it brighton with a man down rum pum 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 rum pum 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 i just shot a man down kind of vibes you know rihanna kind of settings but yes brighton with a man down mansion i could not take advantage of that situation but i'm happy you guys are happy mansion i got that free print back into the top four although the performance itself was questionable a tells of two different halves because the first half, boy, oh boy, oh boy, we were lucky. Brighton should have been winning, but the second half was slightly better with Manchester United getting the goals. I can only be happy with the second half performance, but the first 45 minutes, the first half, poor piss pants. Yes, it was. With Manchester United himself starting on a back four, and I'm tired of this. And I know you guys are tired of seeing Manchester United starting on a back four against Brighton, Brighton and them man's there, you know, I just can't believe it. Manchester United getting moved to by Brighton with Brighton in the opening minutes, creating chances. I know Manchester United had one opportunity opportunity with Jaden Sancho, but then again, Brighton himself, again, creating chances in the 20th minute, 30th minute, giving that he, the David to hear some, some, some work, some real work. And by that time, it was too damn easy for Brighton. Brighton enjoyed the first 45 minutes. The first half force for them. They were just unlucky not to score. And Manchester United, we were just lucky not to concede in the first 45 minutes because that was a poor half, guys. You guys let me know what your thoughts was in the first 45 minutes in the comments. Also, let me know who your man of the match was in the comments and your donkey of the match and what's your thoughts of the match overall. Half time, nil-nil. Manchester United fans booing the so rightly so because these men paid money i can imagine them going for thinking in their head that bruh you men are shit bruh boo i paid bloody 70 65 pounds to come here all the way to mansion and i'm getting this i missed the real madrid a psg match for this this nonsense i don't blame any Manchester united fans that booed those players because they rightly deserved it i wasn't annoyed i was pissed off and I was hoping that Manchester United turn up in a second half. And rightly so, Manchester United did turn up in the second half with the goal. Cristiano Ronaldo, the goal, Sue, finally getting the goal that he's been waiting for for a very long time. Six games without scoring. And that's not normal for Ronaldo. Ronaldo, when he scored his goal, big up McTominay for getting that ball, winning that ball back with the ball, winning the ball straight, knocking the ball to Ronaldo. Ronaldo with a couple of shots and straight back, bang! Crap. Showing off at the straight for then, I believe. Obviously, Ronaldo was so happy. I was happy. The fans were happy. Of course, they were singing the, the Cristiano Ronaldo chants, of course. Again, Straight after that, two minutes after that, it's amazing because Brighton got sent off. Yes, Lewis Dunk, yep, got his house sent off by the referee. The referee said, I'm going to dunk you with the red card after duck checking on the VAR. Of course, Dunk got the yellow card, but the ref had to go back to the VAR to check. I thought it was a red card because he denied Elenga of an opportunity to score. Dunk got sent off. Again, you think, Man United, tell me you're going to do something against a 10 man Brighton. Don't tell me I'm going to watch a match where Brighton at a 10 man stop moving to us. Brighton and them men can't be moving to us when we're at an advantage. Yes, it was true. Manchester United struggled again. And that's what we keep seeing. Manchester United struggling to beat teams when especially when they're vulnerable. Couldn't capitalise at times towards the end of the 90th minutes. 
is when Manchester United quick free kick by Paul Pogba. Paul Pogba to Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes running down the, the channel and then Ronaldo waiting for it. But Bruno Fernandes himself took the opportunity to finally score a goal because it's been a long time for him. So it's, it's been the Portuguese drought today and the Portuguese droughts finally scored their goals. The boys from Sporting Lisbon, unfortunately, your club got packed by Manchester City, but it is what it is. Full-time, 2-0 Manchester United. I couldn't be more than happier than that. I wanted the three points. I predicted a 1-0 win and we still got a 2-0 win, so I can't complain. Player-wise, Sancho had a good game. Good game. He keeps on improving game by game, guys. You guys let me know what your thoughts was. McTominay as well, done okay. Ronaldo, although he scored, I don't think he had the best games. He was causing some problems as well. Losing the ball as well. So many times, making the wrong passes. Man in the match today, guys, for me, has to go to Jaden Sancho, the brightest out of everyone else in the first 45 minutes. And also taking that into the second half as well. Don't give the match. Pass the Fred couldn't pass for nothing today. Couldn't deliver a sermon. Every pass, giving the ball away. Those sermons went straight to hell straight away. I'll be honest with you. They went to hell. They didn't even go to, he to heaven. They didn't make it there because the balls wasn't going to the Manchester United players. And rightly so, he had to come off. But that's it, guys. Manchester United Holics, three points. We're in the top four again. We are inconsistent. So we're going to have to take it game at a one game at a time. Hopefully this weekend we play again and then next week we've got Atletico Madrid. I'm going to enjoy it, you know. But guys, this has been your match reaction by Ivorian Spice. I'd like to thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button and also remember to share and follow the socials of Cross up there and also in the link description for those who want to also contribute by PayPal. And also click the link for the Football Fan app and join and get 20 credit points and that's about it guys but Manchester United fans I'm about to let you go and let you enjoy your night so this has been it remember to keep it united and also remember to keep it red united your boy is out finally your three points come on